Have you guys seen the movie Project X? Project X was probably one of the craziest movies in 2012. The premise of the movie is basically there's three kids who are high school seniors and are determined to finally make their mark. But how to make themselves unforgettable? They have a huge party is basically what it is. And it seems like some TikTokers had the Project X style party that everyone has been trying to do since 2012. Here we go. TikTok party massive bash broken up by cops with tear gas. Tear gas. So last Last weekend, I think on the 22nd or the 23rd of May, somebody named Adrian, it was his birthday and he wanted to have a party. So he decided to get his friends involved. He, he told his friends, go on TikTok and say there's a party happening. You think maybe a couple people would come? Mm -mm. Hundreds and hundreds of people joined. Look at these pictures here. Cops are shooting tear gas. There's fireworks in the streets. The hashtag Adrian has 22 million views. Let's watch this video. All right, we just showed up to Adrian's kickback. Let's see how it is. What's happening? What is going on in Huntington Beach? Is Huntington Beach the new Florida? I think, I think it is. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to The Ash Show. Hopefully you guys are doing okay. Hopefully you're staying healthy and happy and not partying with Adrian. The crowd started to form at around 6.30 p.m. and things got rowdy pretty quickly. By 7.30, it was a full bore. Fireworks going off. And by 11 o'clock, cops made their move. What's happening? What is this? What are they picking up? Oh, they're paintball guns. Oh my God. These cops are all holding paintball guns and they're shooting kids. <laughs> they're shooting kids as they go by. Who are they, David Dobrik? What, <laughs> what is this? Look at them just pap, 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 pap. So the guy's name is Adrian Lopez. Adrian had no idea that this was gonna get so big. Obviously not. People were driving from out of town. We drove 18 hours with 200 BMWs to come to Adrian's kickback. What are you doing driving 18 hours to go to a party that you found on TikTok? How nuts is this? If you're wondering what Adrian's kickback looked like, look at all these people. Guys, what happened to coronavirus? Is there no coronavirus? Everyone is chilling here. Half of them are maskless, having a good time. I guess the vaccine is working. I didn't, I have, I have no idea. Y'all weren't playing when you said you were going to Adrian's kickback. This is nuts. Look, these people, we drove 15 hours to Adrian's party. Do you guys even know Adrian? You don't know Adrian? You're just looking for TikTok views. Every single person that went to the stupid kickback got millions of views. It's ridiculous, but you know what? Let's hear from Adrian himself. I feel like Adrian has something to say. Hi, Adrian. I'm Taylor from the New York Times. Oh, the, okay, yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit about... And I made this flyer. So, like, it's just, like, to celebrate my birthday. And it was just meant to be for my school. He made a flyer that was meant to be only for his school. The New York Times is interviewing him. The New York Times. Don't they have more impressing matters to talk about? You know what? I had, I had a thousand ads. I had people asking me. I was like, let me put it on TikTok. So I think three hours passed. I was at 800, 800 views. And then like a second later, I just refreshed it. And it was at 12.4. And 12.4 what? Million? 12.4 million people saw your flyer for Adrian? This kid right here who nobody knows. This kid? Who's Adrian? Who's Adrian? So I had to make a, you know, like a TikTok, like to show and, who's Adrian. Okay, so this guy finally, <laughs> everyone knew about the kickback and no one knew who Adrian was. How is he not in jail? I need to find out if he went to, if some, but like he had to have been charged. But then again, he didn't really come up with this idea. He came up with the idea for a school and then his, his buddy over here is like, you know what? Let's put out some ads. He's Adrian. And, and if you look at the hashtag, Adrian's kickback has, has like about more than 10 million views. No, 10 million? 100 million. I, ma I made it Monday 100 night. million. We start spreading it out on snap i can't believe that he was being interviewed by the new york times before it happens how did the new york times think you know what this is gonna be crazy i think we should probably get involved here let's talk to adrian himself i want to hear what he says has to say actually you're gonna find out and mom and dad i'm sorry but Wait, i don't know what to do what do they think you're doing right now um they think um i'm at huntington and everything you think that you're a Huntington? Yeah, you but like all, my, all, my, all my relatives and everybody know I'm out here, so... Uh -huh. yeah. Wait a second. So the party was in Huntington, and he said he's out here. I don't know where out here means. It probably means that he's not in the area that he said he was going to be. Did he not show up to his own kickback? Adrian! Come on, my guy. He's Adrian, and I'm the promoter, so like, <laughs> you know, we're hosting events soon. You know, uh, we're going to host... Okay, so I get, I get it, I get it. So he's, he's, he's trying to be a promoter. This is like his life's passion. And now he can say, 
I was the guy that started Adrian's kickback. Let me work at your club. If you, I, I got 10 million people on the way. That's insane. Adrian is a legend. He had three parties in one night, made 100k, became famous in two days, and nobody even saw him in real life. <laughs> it's true. He's right. Like Adrian, I think Adrian made a TikTok account only because everyone was like, who the heck is Adrian? Oh my God. We flew from Detroit to LA for Adrian's kickback. Who are these rich kids that have money for plane tickets to go to LA for a kickback? They don't even know who Adrian is, to be honest. I probably would have done the same thing. If there wasn't COVID, I probably would have, would have done the same thing. Where's Adrian? <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. This guy's running. Where's Adrian? You don't even know Adrian. I gotta see this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's Adrian? <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, here's a picture of the actual flyer. This is the flyer that they sent out. Adrian's kickback, location Huntington Beach at fire pits. Does everyone know what this means? If I'm coming from Detroit, do I know what the fire pits saw? Date, May 22nd, time 7.30 p.m. Bring your own everything. Okay, slide, <laughs> slide true. This Saturday we finna turn up. Yeah, I think that's why everybody decided to go because he said we finna turn up. Those are words to live by. Oh my God. Adrian's kickback, how a teen's TikTok birthday invite ended in arrest clashes at beach. So he's 17 years old. He had a party in Huntington Beach. How many people were arrested? I think 150 people were arrested. Yep, nearly 150 people arrested. Wow, what were they gonna do? How do they have the space to put all these kids? Business owners, store clerks, and residents of Huntington Beach described, wow. So apparently a lot of the storefronts were damaged. 150 officers had to show up and enforcement agencies just to disperse crowds. No significant injuries were reported, but multiple businesses and police vehicles were vandalized along with a lifeguard tower. Oh no, the lifeguard tower. Oh man, how are we gonna save lives now? Shoot. <laughs> Nearly 150 people were arrested on Saturday night after a man's TikTok video inviting people to his birthday party went viral. That's how, that's how people talk in the news. The event dubbed Adrian's Kickback drew at least 2,500 people in the Huntington Beach Police Department said in a statement. That's a lot of cops. And this is before the fireworks. The aftermath. Community members turned out Sunday morning with brooms to sweep the streets and the sidewalks, clean of graffiti, removing chemicals, unmatters. What? Okay, that's sad. How are you gonna turn Adrian's kickback into into vandalism? Like that's so sad. You can even see the people sweeping in slow motion as the sun goes up. Sad music playing in the background. It's a sad sight. Oh my goodness. A glass door at the entrance to the CVS pharmacy was shattered. Employees said that they had locked the doors and had to flee out the back. Whoa. Come on, guys. So there's a GoFundMe started for who? To support 40 local artists who had their exhibits destroyed. No! What is this, Super Smash Brothers? People smashing stores and breaking cars? Man, Adrian. Hopefully, let's see how much the GoFundMe actually raised. 9,000, that's it? How was that gonna fix the damage? Help 40 artists after Huntington Beach riot. Oh, so look, you got, there's a picture here. So yeah, usually they have um, artist booths all around the boardwalk, like on the sidewalk of the beach. I've actually been to Huntington Beach. I, it's so nice. It's like a surfer town. It's so nice. Their pictures, their jewelry, stuff like that. And I guess it all looked damaged. That's kind of messed up. I think I should donate. I feel bad that post had spawned. I'm nervous. My parents don't know and they're going to find out. You know, this man is resting in peace right now. His parents probably, mm. Mm -mm. you know what I mean? You know, they're giving him a good beating. That's for sure. But it doesn't say anything about Adrian himself being arrested. Which is good, I guess. Ah, here we go. The Huntington Beach Police Department never found party host Adrian. He probably stayed home. You, you crazy? He almost wrecked Huntington Beach. Whenever I see Huntington Beach trend. Look, this is Huntington Beach. Now it's Florida. Huntington Beach is the new Florida, everybody. Jumping off of buildings? Why? Sliding down flagpoles. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that always happens. Look at these memes here. The rest of SoCal looking at Huntington Beach like... 
Yeah. I just realized the whole Adrian's kickback is just like one of Gatsby parties where nobody knows the host personally, nor even know what he looks like. That's true. If you guys know the great Gatsby, he used to throw parties every weekend because he hated being alone, but nobody even knew who Gatsby was. But we all know what he, who he was. Adrian safely at home watching the crowds and chaos in Huntington Beach. Yeah, <laughs> I told you. Adrian didn't show up. Adrian didn't show up. There's no way he showed up. But that's kind of messed up. What started off as a stupid, tiny little get together only for friends and family and by friends and family I mean like the entire school crazy event but you know what's funny I tried to start a party just like this this is the poster that I made I called it the hangover project H like her last name began with an H I don't know who this is King City will never be the same again because she used to live in King City. I know the Project X game. I'm into it, you know? I'm into making flyers for people, but I'm not into breaking property. Here's another poster that I made for my birthday. 21 Drum Street. This is me. You guys seeing this? The Hoxton, June 15th. <laughs> I'm telling you, I used to make posters for every single birthday that I used to do. Where's Adrian? Adrian didn't show up. 